Hey, Josh, how's it going? It's going okay. Just getting ready to go through this stack of records. I've got the functional schedule ready for leafing. Cool. Can I see what you have? Absolutely. You know, you may not actually need to look through the retention schedule for these. What do you mean? Aren't all government records listed on the retention schedule? Well, all the ones we're aware of, at least. But think about all of the extra copies of records that are floating around every time someone sends an email attachment or runs off to the copier. For the most part, we aren't referring to those extras when we list a record on the retention schedule. We're actually talking about the record copy. Oh, so you mean the official copy of the record? Yeah, that's another term for it. Basically, if someone in the department's administration needs a copy of the record, where are they going to look first? So that's the copy we're talking about on the retention schedule. Right. And the duplicates can be destroyed as long as the record copy is being retained for the full length of time listed on the schedule. But how do I know if I have a record copy? So that's going to depend a bit on agency policies, but the record copy is managed by a records custodian, and the custodian is typically the office that's in charge of the records function or business process. So this printout of the department's adverse weather policy is just a duplicate because human resources is in charge of the record copy. Exactly. So what should I do with it? Well, do you need to refer back to it? Well, winter is coming. But this was written in 2015, and I know for a fact that we just got an email saying the policy has been recently updated. Guess I should throw it out. Good call. And you know, if you want to print out the latest version, that's fine too. Just remember, you can throw it out when you don't need it anymore. You know, you're really familiar with our department's policies. Can you help me go through the rest of this stack? Yeah, sure. This is a local signature page, adopting one of the retention schedules, and we're in charge of writing them for the whole state. So I'm guessing that in this case, we're the custodians and this is a record copy? Yeah, so we have a central location for those. We can file it there, take care of retention rules down the line. But I'd actually like to go over the fax cover sheet that came with it instead. Well, there's only one copy of it. So where's it at on the retention schedule? It's listed in the overview. So fax cover sheets are a type of transitory record. Its retention period is so short, you can throw it out as soon as it's no longer useful. Oh, okay. The fax cover sheet exists just to make sure that the receiving office got all of the pages of the fax. Great, so I can throw it out. Well, what are some other examples of transitory records? Notes to self, while you were out slips. Pretty much anything that's directing you to do a routine task can be destroyed as soon as the task has been accomplished. Does that include voicemail? And the sticky notes used to take down the caller's phone number. Great, now what about this? It's a draft of a blog post that I sent to my boss. Okay, so that's actually another category of transitory records, drafts and working papers. If the final product isn't advancing any big new changes in policy, they can be destroyed as soon as the final product has been approved. Which our boss has already done, so I can throw it out. Exactly. Okay, looks as if we're down to two. So travel reimbursements are done by the budget office. So they're the custodians of the record copy and they have to sign off on any payments here. And this record doesn't have a signature. So this is both a duplicate copy and a working file, which is a type of transitory record. Did you just deliberately try to throw every single one of the records management terms we've been discussing into the same paragraph? Yeah, maybe so, but I can throw it out, right? As long as it's been turned into the budget office and it's no longer useful to you. Personally, I'd hold on to it until you've received the reimbursement check just in case something went wrong. Wow, that's pretty great. It looks as if, as long as people know about record copies, duplicates, and transitory records, they can safely dispose of a lot of the materials without ever cracking their retention schedule. Yeah, exactly. As long as the, rec the agency's record copies of non-transitory records are being managed and retained according to the retention schedule, duplicates in most working files can be destroyed regularly. So it looks as if you're all set to go. Well, wait, we still have one more record to go. These evaluations of the workshop we presented last week, it's the only copy and it's our workshop. So we're the custodians, but it's definitely not a transitory record. So how long do we have to keep it? You know, I'm actually not sure, but we've definitely determined we need to look at the retention schedule. 
For more information, consult our website, archives.ncdcr.gov and blog, ncrecords.wordpress.com. You can also contact us at 919-814-6900 or records at ncdcr.gov.